Oh, come on, mate. Cheers, buddy. You fucking fuck with. Looks like he's been waiting ages too, so we'll forgive him. You can see what's in front of this guy now. Seems to have good space between him and the silver car. Not too close to any of you. Might present itself here, it's opening up. Look over the shoulder. That is one. The driveway on the right and the turning. Shoulder check out. The car's doing a fucking epileptic fit in front of me to slow down, which made it even more difficult. Thinking I was going to try and go for an overtake with them as well. Let me ride, mate. Do not make decisions for me. Shoulder check. So that's an interesting one. A guy there pulls over to the left and slows down sharply. And actually what he did was make it more difficult for me to pull up behind him. That's why you have to leave space when you overtake. Because um, you never know what anybody's going to do. I ended up with a lot less bra braking room and manoeuvrable space because of him trying to be helpful. Well, him thinking, or don't know, but thinking oh, I'm going to try and over sneak another overtake in. But sort of quite interesting, really. Weather. You see that quite a lot where people try to be helpful to other road users, and it causes, I think, sort of lots of problems. So, for example, you do get a few road users who flash their lights to let people in from the other side so they're becoming the, the car becoming the other way to turn and they'll slow up flash their lights to let them turn in front of them but it does cause confusion but the other thing other problem with it as well is um, you know we don't know whether the flash of the lights is actually to let them across and that causes them to hesitate and it slows all the traffic up behind the car that stopped to flash to let this person in so although it helps one person across it causes confusion and slows up traffic so in my mind you shouldn't do it it's a highway code we just let them I mean the other way, he wants to turn across you just to wait till the traffic clears. Yeah, unless it's massive congested sort of London where it's not moving, but in general terms, I think it's probably the best course of action. Shall we check? Clear. Coming up a brow of a hill. Still clear. Still clear. No idea. Yeah. Lovely, the brow of the hill. Just I kept opening up the view, opening up the view. I wasn't sure I was going to take the lorry and then the view just opened up. Yeah, some confusing signals that um, generally, in my opinion, you should just let people drive and wait. And you should wait as well, instead of expecting people get all that on the road and inspecting to, expecting people to let you out for example or let you across it just causes anger and confusion the other road users as well always causes a lot of concern for people 
that is horses. God people learn about horses and I do too when I'm in my car. So, oh Christ sake. But I'd never abuse them and I always slow up. Give them a bit space, etc. All for the fact that I don't want to get my car booted. But you also don't want to screw the horse and hurt the rider. But yeah, always on the top. Some riders are really sanctimonious as well, they're waving their arms about or the same goes for cyclists. They are other road users. I generally try and give them as much room as possible. I think it's on a motor bike. Well, but in a car, I won't sort of skim past them. But you'll often see 60 limits where people will just come up behind them and just sort of bully their way across, leaving not a fantastic amount of room for the cyclist, and sort of bully their way into the other, into your lane. I suppose it's a lack of patience. a problem for anybody, for any road user, it's a lack of patience. I was generally expecting it to be a bit warmer this morning for the ride. This guy's got stuff that's flying about in the back of his van. Mist, low sun, ice, and low petrol. I did wonder whether I should have worn my... Oh, come on mate, cheers buddy, you fucking fuck quick. Looks like he's been waiting ages too, so we'll forgive him.